For more, let's go to correspondent Dave Keating in Brussels. What's the reaction where you are? Well, yesterday we had the European Commission weigh in on this, saying that uh, the migrants needed to be immediately disembarked at their nearest port of entry. And pointing out that there is a legal obligation to do so as was pointed out as was pointed out in the package under international maritime law however the commission didn't specifically name italy or France by name. Uh, so what, what happened then in the ensuing day is this really escalated when France uh, said they would take in the migrants and had very harsh criticism for Italy. You had uh, the French interior minister Gérard Damaran, Damaran uh, criticizing Italy, saying that it was unacceptable behavior uh, and, and, and really kind of noting the lack of solidarity uh, from Italy on this subject. Now, France is going to take in these migrants and spread them out uh, using an existing migration pact that exists at EU level uh, where a country can spread out uh, uh, migrants to different EU countries to avoid any one country being particularly burdened. Uh, now, it's interesting when the Commission said in its statement yesterday that Italy has legal obligations to take them in without naming it to these specifically. Uh, it's unclear whether they were talking about international maritime law or perhaps the migration pact itself, which was just reaffirmed over the summer, which says that countries uh, on the front line of, of the migration crisis will be able to either send migrants to other EU countries or those EU countries who don't want to take the migrants must pay those frontline countries, must pay Italy, in other words. So could that funding that goes to Italy through that mechanism be in jeopardy? That's the thing that's quietly being said. There, the Commission hasn't come out and suggested anything like that, but it, it is true that whether or not the new far-right Italian government wants to recognize it or not. There was a pact here which you know, the understanding is if Italy wants to receive this money to help it deal with uh, the, the influx of migration at sea, they do need to abide by international maritime law, which says that these, these boats do need to be allowed to dock. Yeah, because again, Dave, uh, the, uh, the way the Italian uh, interior minister is uh, portraying this, he's saying Take in the 234 France. We've taken in 90,000 since the start of the year. Yeah, I mean, and I think if you take a step back here, I mean, this may seem like deja vu. This is not the first time that Italy has refused to take a migrant ship. This is not the first time that France has taken it instead. This is not the first time that France has started border controls with Italy and gotten in a real war of words with Rome. Uh, what's different is that was a while ago, and then we had the migration pact. The context here is that we have this new far-right government in Italy, which is very, very eager to kind of display its credentials, its far-right credentials, on migration. This looks like it's shaping up to be the first big dust-up between this new Italian government and the European Union and centrist European countries, notably France, uh, on this migration issue. Uh, Georgia Maloney, the new Italian prime minister, was here in Brussels last week. She was all smiles. It was a moderate Maloney on display. Everyone was happy. And now already, it looks like we have the first big flare-up. Uh, but, you know, it, it, their argument, the Italian government's argument, and, and I should say this isn't just the far-right government. This was previous governments that also said this. Uh, they said, look, we're being left all on our own to deal with this migration surge. Europe is not helping us. Uh, and so the, the, the gripe here and, and the comments from the Italian uh, minister reflect the fact that Italy doesn't feel the solidarity from France. And there is some resentment when France steps in to take uh, 230 migrants and portrays itself as the hero, whereas Italy feels totally overburdened. So this is a long simmering issue, especially between Italy and France. And we'll see if in the coming days cooler heads prevail. But this very much looks like it could could be the first big battle between Italy's new far-right government and the EU institutions and centrist European governments. Dave Keating reporting live from Brussels. Many thanks for that update.